We're so excited about Adventure Week and we're just a few days away from having so much fun and getting to love on all these little kids that come to know more about Jesus. I'm so thankful that you get to be a part of it and that we are going to partner together to point these littles to Jesus. I wanted to make this video so we could recap what we learned during our trainings and also just talk to you about some extra information that's really important for you to know and not feel lost during Adventure Week. First, Monday we'll be here at 7.50 at the atrium with donuts for you and your kids. Come and pray with us as we start off this amazing week putting everything at the feet of Jesus. So if you have kids that are not in your room for Adventure Week and you want to drop them off in Early Room, Early Room is available in Creation Station. The things have changed a little bit this year because you will have to drop them off at Creation Station and you will have to pick them up from Creation Station and take them to their room. My personal suggestion is to take them to your room and just have them hang out for a little before the kids start coming. So at 8.45, we will open up our rooms for volunteer kids only. And at 8.50, we'll open our rooms for the public. When you get to your room, you will notice that you have a director's bag. It's gonna look like this. It has different things inside of them and I'm gonna walk you through what you will you will find. So the first thing it's gonna have is your leader packet. You'll have one to use for the whole week. If you forgot to bring your own, this is just a little extra one that you get to have where it has all the curriculum. It'll have the snacks and the crafts and things that we already went through during Adventure Week. It'll also have your class schedule, which I recommend to snap a quick picture of it and have it on your phone. You'll have a Ziploc bag that looks exactly like this. I'm going to walk you through everything that's in here because this is everything you need to register and sign kids in before they come in your room. First thing that you'll have are security codes. These are the codes that everybody must have and the child should have one and the parent should have the matching sticker at the end of the day to be able to pick up. On your sign-in sheet, there will be a part of it when you register for the day where you can put the last digits of the security code just in case the kid loses the sticker, you have it written down. And that way, we know when the parent comes pick and picks them up, we'll have everybody's security code on our register already. Next thing you'll find in your Ziploc bag are labels for the kids. These labels, like the ones that you would normally have when you pick kids up, on a Sunday or when you come in with your kids on a Sunday um, you'll have them for each day so you have four different colors and you'll just use one color per day this is where you put your child's name and you can put the room number um, just so you have that kind of visual and you can also put the security code on their badge next thing you'll have are squares that look like this this is where you can put the child's name and the security sticker and this is the one that you give the parents to so that they can pick up their kids now i would recommend that the parents take a picture of this badge so even if they're not the ones that are going to come pick up their kids they can take they can send this picture to grandma or grandpa or whoever's coming to pick up their kids that day it is essential that they have the same code that the kid has or we will not let them go with anybody that does not have the code on them. Last thing that you'll find in your Ziploc bags are allergy stickers. You will also have outside of your door um, the snacks for the day. So if anybody has an allergy, please have them put on an allergy sticker. And it does not matter where they're going, they need to have their allergy sticker just in case. So anybody that comes in contact with them knows what they are allergic to and we can keep an eye on them. Inside your director bag, you will also have a rainy day rec plan. It is in the forecast, unfortunately, that we will have rain next week. Please, please help us pray that we don't so that we can enjoy the day and be outside with our kids enjoying that. So if it does rain, we have a backup plan and that is inside of your bag. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me. Um, they're very self-explanatory and most of the rec areas can be replaced inside, but three of them are not. So if your schedule says that you are scheduled to go to an outside playground that day, know that you'll be staying inside of your classroom. You'll find 
the rainy day plan inside of your director bag. And you'll also find your schedule for playground. So whenever you have rec, you need to go to that schedule so you know where your rec is going to be. Next thing you will have in your director bag is a sign that you get to carry around whenever you're traveling. That same color that's on your sign will also be in the worship center whenever it's time for you to go to Bible room. In the beginning of the day and at the end, we will all be in our classrooms. This is the time that I would really suggest for your kids to take turns going to the potty. If there's a bathroom in your room, that's awesome. If there isn't, take some time to take your kids to a large bathroom where they can all go together and then come out. Make sure you count how many kids you leave your room with and how many kids you come back with. This year, worship time and Bible room will all be held in the worship center. It'll be at 950 and everybody gets to go there at the same time. That's a blessing, but that also means you need to take time to be there. You'll have five minutes to go from your room to the worship center. You'll also see that there's a section labeled with your room that will be color coded by the sign that you find inside of your director bag. Every day you'll sit in the same spot. Our mission room this year will be held in Creation Station. You'll also have five minutes to be there. So remember, if your kiddos are going to go to the bathroom, just try to really push um, going to the potty um, in the beginning of the day and during transition times. This year, craft will not be led by your craft team that comes door to door. Instead, all of your crafts are already in your room and will be led by the amazing volunteers inside of each of these classrooms. Um, know that if you need any extra material, the first thing you need to do is go to the person you have next door and ask if by any chance they have any extra things that they can lend you. If they do not, then please find a hallway coordinator that can assist you. Always remember that your first go-to will be the person you have next door. Your schedule is a suggestion, basically, except for worship time, mission time, and rec. Everything else that's going to be inside of your room, you can kind of coordinate it and, and play around with it however you feel best fits your class. There will be snacks that are already in your room. There will be activities that you can find inside of your director packet. So have fun with the kids and always try to emphasize how Jesus is here and he wants to rescue us. For your personal badge, the one that has your name on it, it is important that you have a Prestonwood key fob. If you're a Prestonwood member, your normal key fob, the one that you use for Sunday or other activities like Awana, will work. If you do not have one, please come pick one up before Adventure Week starts. We'll have them available on Sunday morning and during Sunday afternoon. If you do not have one by then, you can come to us Monday morning, but please, please make your best effort to be here before Monday to pick up your key fob. This year you will have everything you need in your classrooms ready to go Monday morning. They're separated by day, so you'll have three things each day. First thing you'll have will be snack for the day, craft, and an activity bag. Once you're done and the day is completely over, please put everything extra in one bag and leave it next to the door. At the end of the day, I will go by and pick up all the extra stuff, leaving less things to pick up at the end of Adventure Week. Okay, so in your room, you are going to have a bucket that is gonna have your room on it. Uh, it already has a room number on it. So you're gonna stick this bucket every single morning out on the table outside of your room. And that's gonna be next to your attendance sheet. So as your parents are dropping off kids and signing them in, your kids are going to drop their offering each morning before they walk into your classroom inside of this bucket. We would like for you guys to count this as soon as possible because our hallway coordinators are gonna come by and grab it at 9.30. Inside of your bucket, you're going to find these green sheets that say offering on it. If you could designate one person from your team to count the offering and write out the total for each day on this green card, they can just place it back inside the bucket and the hallway coordinator will come and get it. Also, you are going to have attendance sheets. This is the way that we communicate uh, how many kids are in your class to the hallway coordinator at 930 as well. So if you can have one person in charge of looking at the attendance sheet, 
they can write how many adult leaders are in the room, how many student leaders are in the room, and then how many children, how many kids are in the class. So each day you will finish that and total it at the bottom between all three of these lines and give us a total number for how many individuals are in the classroom, period. Some safety measures that I always like to remind is never be alone with a child. If you have to leave your room or if you need an extra person to walk in your room or take somebody to the bathroom or any help at all, we're here to help. I think this is everything. I'm so, so excited to be partnering with you in this. I'm really praying that God uses you in a very special way, that he surprises you, and that you are literally the hands and feet of Jesus this summer.